What's going on guys? Welcome to Homecraft Cocktails, cocktails you can make for the comfort of your home. My name is Briss, and as most of you may know, if you follow me on almost any form of social media, I recently got engaged to my girlfriend of four years, now fiance, Sia. Marcia, Elise, Wingfield. <laughs> So in honor and celebration of that, for this week's cocktail, we'll be doing the Between the Sheets. Make it sweet and love between the sheets. Hey. And yes, I know the name gives more freak nasty than it does love, but it's the only classic cocktail that I could think of that remotely revolves around romance. So cut me some slack. With that being said, guys, let's get into it. The Between the Sheets, or also known as BTS, is a drink that is a close cousin to the more popular drink, the sidecar. The drink probably originated as a gin and rum based cocktail before it traveled to Europe, where the gin would be replaced with brandy in order to make it more sidecar like. The drink would first appear in Frank Shea's 1929 book, Drawn from the Wood. The cocktail originally consisted of gin, light rum, and Cointreau, but since then, as most cocktails do, it went through various changes and variations before finally becoming the more modern and standard version it is today, which is brandy, light rum, triple sec, and lemon juice. Harry McElhone, who was the bartender at Harry's New York Bar in Paris, is often attributed to coming up with this cocktail. However, some would argue that it was actually created in the 1920s by Mr. Polly, who was a manager at the Berkeley Hotel in London. As far as the name of the cocktail goes, obviously it was created with the intention that it would make one and their significant other loosen up their sexual inhibitions. Come on, Come on man. man. What? Come on. What? Hmm? What'd you say your order was, Mr. Payne? Yeah. <laughs> and since the 1930s, the drink is still going strong to this day. It might not be quite as popular as the sidecar, but it still stands strong in its own right. And now, with that brief history lesson out of the way, let's get down to actually making a drink. So first off, you want to start by chilling a cocktail glass by filling it with ice and water and then setting it to the side for now. So next, you're going to pour ingredients into your shaker. As you might have noticed, I actually have a new standard Boston shaker here that has a pint glass instead of the double tin shaker that I normally use. Um, this was a gift from my fiance for our anniversary. So thanks, babe. Appreciate you. So first, we're going to pour an ounce of cognac or in our case, brandy. They're pretty much interchangeable for the most part. Next, we're gonna do an ounce of light rum. An ounce of triple sec. And a quarter of an ounce of lemon juice. And then we're gonna fill our shaker with ice and shake for about 10 to 15 seconds. Then you wanna dump the ice and water that you've been having sitting in your chilled cocktail glass. And then you wanna strain your drink into your glass. And for our garnish, we're gonna do a flamed orange peel. Take an orange peel like that. Take a lighter. You wanna just run it along the edge of the peel. And what this does is, um, kind of singes the essential oils on the peel to give it like a almost a subtle uh, smoky flavor. After that, you're just gonna express the oils on the drink. Run it around the rim and just drop it in there. And there we have a between the sheets. Now that we have our drink, let's give it a taste. Okay. All right, now I see why this is, this is called the between the sheets. Something's definitely gonna go down after 
two or three of these for sure. This drink is very punchy. It, it hits hard, but it tastes very good. It has that sweetness from the triple sec along with the citrus from the lemon juice. So those make a nice balance. So you don't even really taste the alcohol all that much, even though you have three different alcohols that all have 80 proof. There's definitely different proportions you can do with this drink. Some people like a little more lemon juice. Some people like a little less. You can also alter the different proportions of the cognac and whatever. You experiment, figure out what's best for you. As long as you're using these same ingredients, it is still a between the sheets. Also, I like the orange peel that we use only because I like expressing the oils out of there. And it's fun every now and again to use a lighter on it just to uh, singe those essential oils. But you can also use a lemon peel or I've seen a lemon wheel. Um, either one works. But yes, this drink does taste very good. Since it is a more spirit forward drink, I would suggest using, you know, a little higher quality rum or cognac if you do have those. But by all means, I just use, you know, what, 10, $15 materials and it still tastes just as good to me. Um, so by all means, if you want to try this drink at home and you don't have a lot of money to spend, you can do that. With that being said, guys, thank you for watching this week's episode and I'll catch you next week for the next round. Peace. <laughs> What's up, bro? What do you, you, you want to say to the video, bro? I want to shout out HC Cocktails, right? That's the thing? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I want to shout out HC Cocktails. Oh, real nigga. You ain't sitting out. You ain't drinking. I'm a little drunk, but I'm trying to, I'm trying to say something right now. Okay, okay, okay. If you ain't fucking with HC Cocktails, then you doing not well. I got bars like that. Yes, sir. I appreciate you.